pretty deep stuff. I mean, if I heard myself say this 10 years ago, I'd say, what drugs is this chick on? Fair income. Hello and good morning. I'm on my morning walk. It's a Saturday morning here in Bungtau. Hope to get this video up today, but I have internet problems here in Vietnam, so it's always hit and miss when I get my videos up at the moment. I'm absolutely on cloud nine. I've been working on myself so much um, over the last few weeks and it's, I'm just ducking my head. It's been an amazing thing. Um, I mean, I've been working on myself for 10 years. Who are we kidding? Um, but I really had a big think um, yesterday. And I thought, you know what? The last 10 years for me was about getting sober, getting healthy, um, really um, internally healing because I had a lot of shit that I had to heal from, part of my language. Um, and this next 10 years for me is just about finding the real me, being true to myself, allowing myself to be free and who I am. And that's a huge thing. And you know, some people who don't get that will probably think, well, who have you been for the last 10 years? Of course it being me, but not allowing myself to be the true me, so to speak. Pretty deep stuff. I mean, if I heard myself say this 10 years ago, I'd say, what drugs is this chick on? Fair income. But that's where I'm up to, that's where I'm at. And it's just really working on loving all of me, living without regrets, um, living a life true to myself and with purpose. So I woke up this morning and <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna tell you, you're probably thinking, what, you're excited over that? I was called the C word online by somebody because um, I stuck up for women who wanna have children. How dare I stick up for women who want to have children? Um, apparently I was a C because everything dies and decays. Like, duh, I'm gonna die and decay too. Shall I just abolish myself now? Anyway, so woke up to that, press the block button, block. I'm really happy about that because I always, when I block people, I'm like, oh, should I, shouldn't I, oh, oh and I feel bad. But over the last couple of months, I was bullied online um, heavily. And, um, you know, people have their own criticisms and critiques they want to put out there. I'm tough, I'll just let you know, you can't hurt me. Seriously. Um, but I always think, oh, should I block them? Give them another chance, they're okay, you know, blah, blah, blah. But nowadays I'm just like, you know what, I'm putting me first and I don't need this toxicity from other people who can't get their own life together and put can't put out love for other people. I don't want them around me, so block button. So that for me was a win just because I put me first, yay me. Second thing I was super happy about um, my girlfriend um, told me she's going to do Challenge 22. Yes, I put a post up about it last night. And I'm going to put the link in the description for Ch Challenge 22. For those of you who don't know, um, Challenge 22 is a challenge for people to try veganism out. I'm aware veganism isn't a challenge. It is an ethical lifestyle for life. But, you know what, 22 days can make a big change into people's lives. So, you know, you try 22 days of eating plants, you're more receptive to the cruelty because you're not actually participating in it in that point of time and you don't have the guilt and the shame and burying your head in the sand so much, so to speak. So it really helps you open up. So I had a girlfriend tell me she's going to do that. Yes! And only three days beforehand, I had another girlfriend tell me she was going to do that. And I've had two other people message me that they're gone vegan because of the messages I put out there. Not bragging, just saying it as it is. I work my butt off on my Facebook page. If you um, follow me on my own personal Facebook page, you'll see I post and I spend hours writing articles and everything just to get the vegan message out there. Um, so don't ever be afraid. You know, I see people go, say, oh, I've got a separate Facebook account for um, vegans and for my friends. Well, why are you posting vegan stuff for vegans? We all know what's happening. Uh, that's why we're vegan. I don't put stuff out there for vegans. I put stuff out there for non-vegans. So either vegans can share my posts with their friends and family, 
or so people on my page that aren't vegan can read it and say you know what huh, those seeds those seeds those seeds I keep watering keep watering oh they sprout they grow yes we got another vegan so don't ever be afraid to put your message out on social media it doesn't mean you have to be a radical crazy I see some of the things people put out um, about veganism and they can be very rude and condescending and I admit in the past I have been like that when I've been an extremely angry vegan angry at the world full of hurt full of grief full of anger because of the system that's in place I understand it I get it but it doesn't bring people to veganism that I promise you the only way you'll bring people over is by spreading the message in a positive light showcase the cruelty by all means but don't abuse people when you abuse people the rebellious side of us kicks in and you think screw you I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing so change your tactics I mean I I read this on Facebook yesterday a vegan she said yep I just went and wiped dog pork, she actually used the S word, um, all over the barbecues at my local park. That, that'll, um, that'll get the karma back on the meat eaters. And I just thought, you are absolutely revolting, you're disgusting. Not to mention vegans could use those barbecues. But uh, apart from that, you know what, that's not activism, that's just cuckoo. Put your message out, you know, in a positive way. Show them you're living a wonderful, healthy, happy life. Like, showcase that. I like to showcase that I'm normal, so to speak. When we go too far extreme, and I have it many times, you know, I speak from experience, people say, cuckoo, you've got to remember, people aren't living in the vegan world. They don't get it. We've been so heavily indoctrinated. We've been brainwashed. We need to explain these things with education and love. So that's that message out and away. Second. I'm gonna make a change for once in my life. It's gonna feel real good. Gonna make a difference. Gonna make it right. I'm not the